Hi, my name is Gordon Davidson. I'm an engineer at Abbey Road Studios. I've been here nine years. Worked on some big projects in my time in London. I worked on The Hobbit movie, James Bond, Spectre. I've worked with artists like Paul McCartney and Ian Brown and Will I Am. And the guys have brought us a track today that we're gonna we're gonna mix. It's a little rock track. We're gonna see see what we can get out of it. Welcome to the front room at Abbey Road, one of our new studios. Um, it's based around a 24 channel duality SSL and Pro Tools HDX2 with Apogee interfaces. Um, we've got a nice little rack about board here. We've got a bunch of 500 series preamps and a couple of EQs. Uh, we've got some warm audio, some Chandler, API, and Loop Trotter. Uh, we've got the Manly Massive Passive Mastering EQ for the Final, final polish. We've got a Bracasti M7 reverb, which is kind of the premier hardware reverb these days. Uh, we've got an old Lexicon reverb for that sort of 90s sound. We've got an Empirical Labs Distressor down there, a compressor, which is one of the most versatile compressors there is. You can make it sound really slow and sloppy and old, or really fast and snappy and distorted. It's great. Uh, Neve 33609 bus compressor. You can run it in stereo or mono. Classic Neve sound. Um, yeah, we're listening on some Focal SM9s. Which are nice, accurate speakers that they can be exciting as well if you turn them up. And uh, yeah, so in the front room we've got a little overdub booth for coming in and doing, you could do drums in there, but really for guitars and vocals. And uh, it's a nice, comfortable space. I'm really, really pleased with how it's turned out. So this is the this is the track as it as it arrived. Just make some make some grips. Better when there's some colours. Grey's a bit dull. So it's a live recording, but the, the spell's pretty good on the, on the kick. And the snare. A bit more on the overheads, as you'd expect. At the moment I'm just listening to what, at the moment I'm really listening to what spills on each mic to see if I compress it, how that's going to be affected, or if there's a frequency that I think that I could grab to make something more exciting. Sounds like a bass. I guess DI'd or booth. Cheers Pro Tools. I think the, the acoustic's been DI'd, so it's, it's very dry and needs a bit of, bit of space around it to make it more real.
So I've done some basic panning already, spread the overheads wide, um, put the acoustic off to the left, the lap steel to the right. Got some more guitars at the end that I've spread out left and right. Vocals down the middle. Well, we'll start at the, I'm going to start at the fun bit, I guess. A lot of people, some people start with vocals, which I think is kind of cool. But I'm going to start with the drums, because most people start with the drums. It sounds okay, I think. I think we could get a bit of EQ going, a bit of, maybe a bit of light compression. And a bit of gating. So yeah, I've fattened up the bottom a little bit, done a little boost at like 80. Taken out a little bit around 350, a bit of boxiness. I'm just listening to see in the overheads to make sure the snare is centre because you don't want to be pulled to one side. Sometimes people move the overhead different, equal distance away from the snare so that the snare is right in the middle, which I get. But I, I prefer to do it personally with gain to match the levels because you, you, if the levels are the same when the snare hits, then it's in the middle. Um, so just checking, I think I've done a little trim on the... I've just done a little boost on the right hand side. I guess that it was done drummer's perspective, so the snare's naturally slightly to the left. So I'll put the EQ in, start flat. I like to bring out a bit of the hi hat, especially in this sort of fast, fast closed hi hat work. Okay, so it's a little brighter, a little bit more exciting now. I did a little bit at the bottom as well, although that might come out as we carry on. So I've got this Neve 33609 compressor, which I'm going to insert across the overheads. I've kind of, I 
preset it <laughs> uh, to about 4 dB of gain reduction and the, the recovery is fast enough that it's kind of getting mostly back down between, between the hits of the kick and the snare but it pumps a little. Just again to bring out a bit more excitement, get the cymbals kind of really and the snares sort of keep really popping, you know? And fatten up a bit. It's a little brighter with, I've put a bit of EQ on as well, but it's a little brighter with the compressor in. That's all we've got time for now. If you want to see the rest of the video, buy the latest issue of Computer Music.